you invest in 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 women not merely from some abstract ideology but because it makes absolute business sense the investments you've made for example uh, in bumble and then you exited uh, that didn't just come from some sort of space thinking oh let me just you know uh, encourage a sort of women centric dating app it's because it made pure business sense to you talk a little bit about how from the racism you experienced growing up in uh, in england where you spent a lot of time to this moment where you're seen as someone who is dominating uh, the the public imagination both in hollywood and silicon valley talk about that arc angela sure well firstly thank you for having me bogha here um i think it's amazing that you're doing this global town hall and bringing voices from new york to hollywood to mumbai to all over the world so firstly just kudos to you for taking the initiative to do this and and bring these voices together because it's meaningful. Um yes, um you know, it's interesting whether it's Hollywood and entertainment or whether it's startups and investing in women. I always say one thing, talent and numbers don't lie. So, um you know, ultimately, I think that if you're, you know, actually Pranana we're just talking about um uh you know working with Mindy Kaling so Priyanka and I have been working with Mindy Kaling on a movie that we sold to Universal and when we went in and sold that movie to Universal we really went off the hills of crazy rich Asians which had done i think around 230 million at the box office at that point and it was great timing to talk about how something that most people would perceive as niche we could become mainstream and make real money at the box office and it's the same with startups like you know um you know Whitney Wolfhard who founded Bumble you know exited that for billions of dollars Hayao Kadakia who founded ClassPass exited that for billions of dollars like ultimately like you know i think that what we've got to get better at doing as women as south asian women as women who are minorities is telling a story of metrics and money because that's ultimately what people care about and that's ultimately what's going to move us forward and i think for a long time we've told stories of passion and you know um of creativity and things like that and that's so important and of course that matters but ultimately when you're trying to succeed in business and you're talking to people that don't look like us we have to tell a story of revenue and and metrics so you know yeah. i i think i learned that pretty early on um when i was in england growing up and experienced an awful lot of racism what i really wanted to do was was be an actress in um and basically do shakespeare plays for for the rest of my life that's what i wanted to do but i knew there weren't any roles for someone that looked like me and i made a decision that i was either going to be a, i was either going to be a poor actress or it's going to be a rich businesswoman and i had to understand the fundamentals <laughs> the business. So I learned the fundamentals of the business and decided to be a businesswoman and try and make money that way because I didn't want to be a poor actress. Um but I don't know if that answers your question but hopefully that does. <laughs> 